On this topic, I'd like to talk about games and activities that you can do with your babies. Here's a list that you can follow. Blowing bubbles in a bowl of water with straws. You can play ball, catching and throwing. Teach them the vocabulary words as you go. Catch, throw. Play-doh. Play-doh can be lots of fun. You can use other little toys as you play. Little forks, knives, plastic dishes, plastic cookie cutters. Those are lots of fun. Another one could be rolling little toy cars down a makeshift ramp, such as a large book propped up on a slant. Sit in a dry bathtub with a bucket of water in front of them to splash it. Mix up bubble water in a large bowl with a whisk and see how the bubbles grow. That's fun. Pass the toy game. You can clap and they give it to you. They clap and you give it to them. Hiding games. That's a lot of fun for babies that age. They can play hide and seek. You hide. Play peekaboo. You hide something and they have to look for it. You can make a little puppet show using stuffed animals or their dolls, their little people. Play tent. Pull a sheet or blanket over a couple of chairs or another suitable piece of furniture and they can play and have fun inside. Make a train with cardboard boxes to sit in. Paper airplanes. You can throw them, you can show them how to fold them, teach the vocabulary words glide, fly, as you go. Be sure to fold in the tip so it doesn't accidentally poke your eye. Cornstarch play. Feel the texture, watch it dissolve when you add water, and let them feel it with their fingers. Fill a balloon with water and poke holes in it and watch it fountain out. You can also use um, plastic cups or plastic bottles by cutting off the tip and poking little holes at the bottom. It's a fun little fountain. Shaving cream play. Put it in a little baking tray and let the child play with it there, making designs and patterns. Pull up their sleeves and put an apron on so it doesn't get their clothes all messed up. Another hiding game is you can hide something under a cloth for them to discover. They pull up the cloth and they find it. You can play rolling games. Roll things around. For example, balls, cars, tubes, round containers, glue stick, pencil, a roll of tape, oranges. Look around the house for anything that rolls. Tie strings onto the toys and cover it and they have to pull the string and find out what's under the cloth. Get different pots with lids and hide things in them and they have to open and close. You can see what pots and lids match. Well, that was it for the activities ideas. There's lots more, but this is a start.